Hi everyone! Happy Sunday, I hope you're all having a really good weekend. Um, I'm Lauren and if you're new to Periscope and you don't know who I am then um, I own a fabric shop in Birmingham and I love making my own clothes and I like sharing my ideas with you so I've got some perfect ideas for making a really nice summer dress for you today. Um, so what I'm going to be doing over the month of July is like a special season on my blog about lots of different summer dresses. So each week I'm going to show you a different summer dress um, and the fabrics that I've chosen to make with as well and show you what the pattern's like. Um, so my first week was on Monday, uh, sorry, Friday. Um, so on my blog you can go, um, my link, the link's in my profile, um, to the blog post about it. So I am making a big swooshy dress which is really nice because it's got a really big full skirt. This is what I've got on today. Um, and I wanted to just show you that today. So the pattern that I have used is the Sew Over It Betty dress, um, which is this one here. So it's a 50s inspired style dress. So it's got a fitted bodice um, and then a really full skirt. Um, and it's really nice to make up in sort of lightweight summery cotton fabric. So I've got a few fabrics to show you today about what I think are good choices to pair with the pattern. So the one that I've got on is called Twilight Florals um, and you can find it on my website. Um, this is it here. So it's a really wide fabric as you can see. So it means you don't actually um, need a huge amount to make it even though it's got a full skirt. So depending on what size you're making you're going to need between about 1.8 and 2.3 meters of fabric um, which is really good and also it's on special offer this week as well so it's got an extra 15% off so it's £12 a meter but it's got um, a bit of a discount on it because my top pick for this pattern. Um, so I've got that one and then I've also got um, this really nice Liberty one as well which is a nice floral one. I think this dress is nice in a floral just because of the style of it um, so yeah this one I think is really nice too and it's wide so that's good you don't need um, you don't need to buy lots and lots of it either then I've also got this really pretty um, it's a bit of a lighter color one it's really nice it's got um, so if you can see that there it's got little butterflies in it as well it's quite cute um, and then I've also got this one here which is like a sort of um, bluey yellowy greeny kind of random spotty one so um, it's not as sort of flowery and chintzy as the others but I think it would be really nice to make this dress as well and um, so as I was saying before it's a really nice fitted dress here you can see how big the skirt is and the reason I love it is because look what the skirt does when you spin around it's really really swishy it's really full and um, but when you just stand it doesn't puff out too much so you can see it just hangs really nicely um, which is what I really like about it um, so it's also got, I'll just show you the back as well, it's got a sort of v-neck at the back which is really nice. Um, so if you've got a wedding to go to this summer or a garden party or um, another sort of special event then it would be perfect for that. Um, I was judging a fashion competition at a school in Worcester yesterday and I wore it to that and um, it was really good. Um, so I hope you like the dress. Um, and if you're watching now or even if you're watching on replay you can tap the screen to give me some hearts um, I'm still I'm still pretty new to Periscope so I'm just sort of getting used to everything um, but I wanted to also let you know that this week on Thursday I'm going to be doing a little Periscope sort of um, play around with my friend Claire Louise um, and you can find her at the Thrifty Stitcher so if you just search for Thrifty Stitcher you'll find her um, and we're going to be talking to you about bias binding so she loves sewing as much as I do and um, we've got lots of tips to share with you so we're going to be talking about how to um, make your own bias binding with one of these little gadgets um, and then also just how to use it you can also get pre-made bias binding so we'll talk you through that you can just buy it off the roll you can get really pretty ones like this Liberty one here um, if you don't fancy making your own but there's lots of really cool ways you can do it you can use it when you're dress making so if you tune in on Thursday afternoon then we will let you know all about that as well um, but I hope you've found um, the ideas I've said today um, interesting and inspiring and I'll come back to you next week with my next dress that I'm going to chat about so it's going to be the simple classic dress um, so next week on the blog I'll share with you what pattern I've chosen for that um, and also what fabrics I think go really well with it as well. So hopefully by the end of the summer you can find your perfect summer dress and add to your handmade wardrobe. So thanks for tuning in and I'll see you soon. Okay.